Hi guys, thanks for joining me today and welcome to all my new subscribers. Today I'm going to do a very quick hair tutorial for you. It is a half wig. It is by, or she is by, besthairworld.com and her name is Easy Joyce. This is Joyce right here. She's very long, spirally curls. Here she is right here. This color is a 1B. It's a very dark brown. It's the darkest brown you can get before black. Inside, under her cap, guys, she has a comb. And the comb on this half wig, as you can see, is very thin. It's not thick. So if you want to wear a headband with, with it, you can without a lot of bulk in the front. In the back, the nape of the neck, there is another small comb. Again, that comb is very small. It's not thick. And she is by the Janet Collection. And this is really nice. I'm going. I'm not going to comb this one out the way I usually comb it. I'm going to see if I can just work with the curls and leave them as is because I'm thinking if I comb this out, it would look maybe kind of bushy and tangled, tangled looking. So I'm not going to comb her out. I'm just going to work with those curls the same way the um, the model in this in this little hang tag is wearing it. I'm going to put her on for you, and I'm going to also, after I put her on, I'm going to show you guys how I blend my own hairline out and over, over the style so that you guys can achieve the same look. I get a lot of emails now about blending the hairline over half wigs. So I'm going to show you the best way I know how to do it, and it's the way that looks the most natural for me. So, um... I'm going to put her on for you. But before I do, I forgot to mention that Joyce does not have adjustable straps. So make note of that. But the cap is very stretchy, guys. Look, at, look how much that cap stretches out. So if you have a small head, I, I should fit snug. You should maybe use some hairpins or bobby pins to hold her into place. And if your head is a little bit larger than the average cap, because these caps are average size, you, you'll, you'll be glad to see that it does stretch. Just a nice bit of stretch, as you can see. Okay, so I'm going to put her on for you right now so you can get to see what Joyce looks like. Okay, guys. So now she's on. She's in place. I'm just going to pull it down a little bit. So that she's nice and snug. And, and as you can see now, this is how she fits when you don't blend your hairline over. So take note of that. It's not, you know, it's not really that bad. At, at this point, you can even wear a headband if you wanted. And, or you can wear one of those little braided headbands that look so cute. Let me just make sure I have my own wig cap underneath there properly so that you can't see it. And I'm going to show you now, this is my method for blending uh, my hair over. I don't, as you guys know, I'm all natural. I am not relaxed, so my hair is not as smooth and straight as this, as this wig. But what I usually do is, when I braid my hair after, when I braid my natural hair after I wash it, I usually leave enough hair in the front of the hairline so that I can blend it over or that I can just flat iron it a little bit if I want to wear a half wig. So today I'm not going to flat iron it. I'm just going to use a little gel and just kind of just blend it over. As you can see where it's straight right here, a little bit straight. You can blend your hair. If your hairline is curly, you definitely can, you definitely can blend it over. My hair is a little bit curly at the front. Not much, guys. I have to put gel on it to give it that really curly look. So I'm just, as you see, I'm going to use the back end of this comb, and I'm just pulling hairs out, as you can see. And this is what I want you guys to do. If you don't have five inches of hair to blend over, don't worry about it. It'll still work. Now, as you can see, this is my own hairline. It's blended over, and I'll keep working my hair over the front part of the wig. And sometimes you'll have to lift it up to get 
to get your hair over it because the combs are nice and secure so your your own natural hair is definitely going to you know be underneath there it won't come out won't slide out I'm going to and now as you can see I probably need to use some gel to lay these hairs down and that's what I'm going to do the gel I'm going to use today is it's a pomade and it is called uh, solid ice this is it right here guys and it works very well just to lay your hair down. If your hair is natural, like mine is, it may be difficult to make your hair respond and lay down properly if um, if you use a thinner based um, glaze or something. So I find it very helpful. So I'm going to just take a little bit of this and just start blending it on my hair to get my hair to lay down. And you can use the back end of a comb. You can use your fingers. Honestly, I think fingers work much better than the back of a comb, but you guys will decide which works best for you. And so let me just blend this in. I'll move in a little bit so you can see. The warmth of your fingers really just makes the product melt and just get into your hair. Let me use a little bit more. I'm going to use my fingers on this side. Now you see that, guys? My hair is already starting to respond to look similar to the texture of the wig. And that's what you really want. Don't forget to blend a little bit on the side so your edges will look similar to the front portion of your hairline. Okay. This is, guys, this is exactly what I do when I uh, wear half wigs. I'm not doing anything different than I would normally do. I'm going to go back in and work a little bit more over here. And I'm using my fingers because I would use my fingers if I was doing this myself. You know, on my normal hair, hair routine for a half wig. Okay, put a little bit more there. And maybe just a touch up there just to... And this product, I like this product a lot because it really just allows the hair to l lay down and it stays down, guys. So you don't have to worry about about that. I'm going to my comb down. I don't really don't need it. I'm just going to finger comb the way I normally would. And let's see what we got here. I usually wear my curly do's tossed to one side of my face because it complements my face the best. You should do the same. You should wear your styles that best complement your face. Guys, so just finger comb her into place. Use your fingers. Don't be afraid. Don't use a comb with this curly hair. Now, guys, I'll tell you something else what I would do. I would definitely take a little bit of the pomade, and I would dab it along my hairline right here so that I can blend my baby hairs down. And let me show you what I'm doing here, as you can see. Can you see that, guys? And the, this pomade, this um, pomade here, this is by IC and it's called uh, Ice. This really helps lay the hair down along the skin area and it keeps the hair down. So I really like it for that because this is really like what I really need from my product. I need them to respond immediately. You don't want to, you know, lay your hairs down, your baby hairs down, and then before you leave to go out to work, they're sticking up and <laughs> you don't want that. So I'm going to turn around and let you see the back. Now remember guys, we didn't comb this at all. We just used our fingers just to move the hair around. This is the length. This is the length. It's nice and long. And I'm going to let you see what the back looks like. And 
that is it, guys. I mean, if you wore this hair for the holiday, it would take you under 10 minutes to do your hair. I mean, could you imagine just going out for the holidays looking really glamorous and it's only taking you 10 minutes to do your hair? And probably less than that if you guys are really good at putting on half wigs and then getting them in place the way you want. But I love this style. You guys know this is my style. This is a two thumbs up. I love this. This is the Easy Joyce. Again, here she is on the front of this hang tag. That's her version. And this is my version. And that's all I have for you now. So, oh, again, let me tell you how much Joyce costs. She is on sale now. She is $19.99. So, guys, I mean, just, even if you wanted to cut this a little bit, if you, if you thought this was too long, you can actually just cut this and just, you can have a shorter style. I mean, but, I mean, she's beautiful just the way she is. She is gorgeous. So, guys, before I go, winner number three of our gift card giveaway was chosen, as always, by random.org. And before I tell you who the winner is, I just want to show you again the gift card. This is the beautiful box that it comes in. You can use this box to hold little candies if you want after you use your gift card. Inside the box comes a little note card, you will get a, a little note, a thank you note from me to you. And inside the box is your gift card, as you can see it, that purple card. That is your gift card, $25 gift card, for being one of my subscribers. And if you are viewing this video and you've not subscribed and you would like your chance at winning a $25 gift card or any of my other giveaways, all you have to do is subscribe. It's free. So guys, the winner of the gift card giveaway is Jacqueline, and her channel name is Coco18Monkeys. Again, the winner of this giveaway is Jacqueline, and her channel name is Coco18Monkeys. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Please get in touch with me as soon as you can so that I can send you your $25 gift card. And with that said, guys, you be well, you be blessed. Thanks so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. And thanks so much for showing me so much love. I certainly appreciate that. And you take care and you be well. And I will see you very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.